Hello, welcome back. Today we are doing a 14 weird things I do as an ultra minimalist. So this idea is inspired by the YouTuber Explorador and I absolutely love her. Um, yeah, so thanks to her for this idea. Let's go. So I have my paper. So number one, I never use glasses. Of course, I practically don't have any glass or plates or bowls here um, and I just have two glasses and it is really because if I'm hosting some guests or whatever I need less for them but other than that I always use my water bottle because I practically only drink water and yes yeah, so no glasses for me uh, I live alone and I'm always with my water bottle and I don't want to wash something over and over and over and over again like I wash my water bottle maybe like once a week and then I'm done so number two I wear socks multiple times in a row like I can wear my socks like for two or three days if I'm not having like really high intense activity like or if I'm doing if I'm not doing a workout I really don't move that much I just walk my dog and I'm staying home so really my feet don't sweat and I don't think it's necessary to wash them and I swear my feet don't stink <laughs> and my socks don't don't stick uh, neither and um, yeah so you can think it's gross and I will get it but really if you don't move that much like you can wear socks multiple times like for for three days it's okay like come on anyway moving on and um, number three I never buy laundry detergent and fabric softener um, yeah, I do my own laundry detergent since I think two years. Well, actually, I've done I've done it only once, and it costed me like I remember like three euros, like so three dollars. It's like for a bottle of this size. Oh, it's it's in my bathroom, but I'll show you uh, in another video how to make your own laundry detergent for very cheap with only natural ingredients so yeah and uh, actually I just finished it like last week so I need to make another one and I will make a video about this to the recipe to give you and um, yeah it drives me nuts when I see the prices uh, at the supermarket of the laundry detergent like and it is so inexpensive to do and besides it is better for the environment it is better for your skin it is better for your for your wallet so yeah and there's so many um how do we say in english i think it's endocrine disruptor um and yeah it's it can be it can really mess with your health and yeah i don't mess with that I only like use three products uh, to to do my laundry detergent and that's all and we are done for like two years so well if you live alone of course but yeah do your own laundry detergent that's what I do number four well <laughs> that's one so well I use the same tea bag like twice I'm not a heavy tea drinker but especially in the winter I kind of drink more and yeah I always use twice or three times sometimes because like there's so many still flavors in it if you throw it and I don't know if you drink like three tea a day it's like three buys, bags of tea wasted so you can just use one and just refill it with hot water and yeah you save some tea uh, number five I always unpack everything when I get home yes so that's the case when I get home like here in Paris or if I'm in the weekend on the weekend or if I'm traveling 
to feel like home i think you need to really settle in a place whether it's your home place or your hotel room or airbnb or if you're sleeping sleeping at someone's house like unpack really everything like i empty my bag i put all my belongings they're not too many of course as an ultra minimalist but i put all of my belongings at their place where they are supposed to be and i ultimately feel more at home so yeah really unpack always everything and uh, number six i don't have a handbag um i just have like a really small banana bag where i only put my phone my id my credit card um, a pen and like a wallet to carry cash sometimes because in paris you can't always pay by card and that's really annoying by the way but yeah um i don't have a big handbag like when i see girls all just even my grandmother she has this and my mom too like every woman that i know they all have like big purse big bags too and they're always searching for one thing like if i'm asking for a tissue and they're like oh yeah yes yes i do have that oh i do have a knife i do have a like they have so many things like it's mary poppins really and they're always like oh wait wait a second wait a second i'm gonna find it oh and i have this and this and this like ah oh, and their bag is so heavy and i don't know why people just carry that much stuff with them like every day it's just exhausting to me like i i I will feel really heavy and not free to just move as I want and not carry all these all these things, sorry. But yeah, I think it's really like I don't wanna go too deep, but I think it's just psychology, like just carry on on things and just really need like to feel secure. Um yeah, but that's another subject. But uh yeah, always have my little banana bag, just the really bare minimum. And yeah, I have this bag for two years and it's really a game changer because before that I wasn't an ultra minimalist. So I used to have a bag like everyone else and yeah, really changed my life to have just a little bag with only the necessary things moving on um yes number seven i only use two bowls to eat yes i never eat with plates i don't like it um i only eat uh, with some bowls i have only two by the way and yes when i when i eat like i wash my bowl right away and i will use the other one just like for my boyfriend when he's coming at my place but yeah i always use the same dishes the same like the same fork the same knife the same um spoon and yeah i always wash it after i use it and then i use it again like it's so simple when i see when i go to my mother-in-law for example like and my well my entire family too they're really like maximalist and they have so many things so many dishes like and i always tell them like when are you going to have in your life a party of more than like 50 people because there's so many plates and so many bowls and so many glasses like you could do really a party of 100 people like that's crazy you don't need all those stuff but that's the usual sentence of oh but they're cute but they're pretty and i'm like yeah but do you need it it takes so much space and when you move i can't imagine when you're moving out like so many boxes of dishes so heavy and oh my god I i'm just i just can't with all that things it's like furniture like i live in this tiny studio and I rent it with the furniture on. It's like, this is not my table. This is not my bed. This is like, I only have two balls of mine. And other than that, that's all of the landlord. It's all uh, away. Um, 
Yeah, it's not my property. That's that's what I meant. Moving on. Um, da -da -da. Number eight, I don't use it. Yes, I live in Paris and winters can be hard and still are, even it's, it's spring now. But yeah, I really, well, I maybe used once in the month of January the heat because it was really really cold and it was really snowy but other than that I just wear like a legging and a jean and multiple layers <laughs> I'm sorry like my merino uh, shirt like I have uh, on it's really really warm and then another another thing and then my sweater and I have maybe like I can wear two socks like double socks um yeah i just cover myself and they used to do that i sometimes i think like i'm really maybe just old-fashioned like like really really like in the time of my i don't know my grandparents like during the war um maybe sometimes they they didn't have heat and i i hope you get me on this point like heat not like um like a fireplace or something to keep you warm like you just cover yourself and you do really some savings with your yeah a lot of savings with your money and it's better for the environment like it costs nothing to put an extra sweater on you when you're cold instead of using the heat and put it one degree more and two degree more like just cover yourself and you'll be great. And if you're really cold, have a tea, put yourself in your bed under your blanket, and yeah, that's all. Number nine, I don't have any subscription. I don't have Netflix, I don't have Prime Video, I don't have, uh, I don't know, what is this like? Um, I don't have Spotify, I don't have Apple Music, I don't have any subscriptions, so of course that saves me a lot of money every month and yeah i really don't need it i bought just uh, the app called babel for the the language to learn new languages and i bought it the whole pack like for 100 euros um like two years ago and i still use it because i'm learning english spanish and swedish on this app and it's really great by the way i don't like duolingo but i absolutely love babel and yeah anyway i just have one subscription it's called nawak but i think it's a french app to um, to have the castings uh on it yeah it costs me like 12 12 euros a month and because i'm i'm a comedian i'm trying to be um an actress in Paris and um, yeah so that's just an app to have all the castings and I'm a model too so sometimes I find my like my campaigns to work for like L'Oréal Paris or whatever um, with this app so I really use it and I need it for work um, number 10 I try <laughs> This one is tricky too. I try not to take a shower every day. Um, let me explain before jumping to the ceiling. Um, again, when I don't do intense things in my day because I have a lot of free time and I, if I'm not doing a workout, I don't really think and I just do what I call um, a cat shower. I take like a glove, you know, like to, to wash your body and I just wash my body with just a glove at my sink, like like the way they used to do in the older times, really. Just old fashioned way to, to wash yourself because in the other times, in the older times, people didn't have showers and so the uh, people didn't took showers every day and I think it's really good for the environment and it's I just read that it is not good to to wash your skin like really with a lot of soaps and products every day it can really damage your skin 
so yeah sometimes i always wash every day but not take a shower every day if that makes sense um number 11 i don't have any decoration as you can see my walls all my walls here are white and they don't have anything on them i don't have photos of my family or friends i just like it that way and i'm not saying that like, i will never put like decoration on my walls but i'm really here for a short period of time i'm still here for three months and and then i move again so i i don't want every time i move to put my decoration everywhere i don't just don't need it I don't like to be overstimulated too and I just don't need photos of my family and friends to think about them yeah that's all so really a uh, neutral minimalist apartment and yeah my dad doesn't like it it says like oh my god like it is so empty no 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 you need some like put some posters on the on the walls and i'm like no dad i'm i'm really cool with that i'm really cool with that um moving on number 12 almost there i don't have backup products yeah that's the whole thing maybe it's like that in your home or in your grandma's home i don't know but my grandmother like she has at least six shampoos in the the drawer and i'm like why <laughs> like why it's like a survivalist like really why do you buy so much stuff like for me when i use a product i use until uh, i use it until the end and then i throw it away and then i carry myself in the store and i buy another one i hate having backup products unless it's maybe for food and still I just have I just have like um, a backup pasta like I have maybe two little uh, bags of pasta but that's all uh, I really I I hate I absolutely hate clutter so yeah no backup products use it until the end and then buy another one that's all uh, number 13 I don't have a TV uh, I have a, I still have a computer but I really don't use it that much like it's it's I think in my like um, here I, I don't uh, I lost the term of this like it's in this box since like five days and I really don't use it that much so I don't think I will buy it and I uh, will buy another one when it's when it, it will be dead but yeah i and anyway this subject is i don't have a tv um i think i will uh yeah i don't want a tv i just don't want to spend my time looking at the screen i just doing i just do it like very often with my work because i always have to check the castings multiple times a day so i use my phone so much so I really don't need a TV to spend to lost more time than I already do, in my opinion. And yeah, there are a lot of people who, like my friends talk about this new TV show, like the problems with three heads, I think. And I'm like, oh no, I really don't have time to watch TV shows at the moment. And they're like, oh, okay, fast life. No, no, no. And it, no, it's just not fast life. It's kind of the opposite. It's slow life. I um, I read a lot. Like every night, every evening, after my dinner and after walking my dog, I just read for one hour, two hours, and then I go to bed. I, yeah, I'm just not interested that much seeing TV shows and movies. Sometimes, of course, yes, but not uh, not every night that's my point um number 14 yeah this one is really similar to the ones that Explorador did the youtuber i delete i delete every mail if it's not relevant anymore so my like my mailbox it's like at maybe one or two mails that's all 
I spent I think two hours of cleaning my mailbox and I had like more than 20,000 mails. It was absolutely insane, but I delete everything and I try to do the same with text messages. Um, for my work, I text message a lot and like as soon as the project is gone, it's deleted. Like really, I just don't want digital clutter anymore. And that feels so good too, to not have like hundreds of texts and notifications. Like I don't know how people can do that. Like really, I, I just can't stand it. That, that's really overwhelmed me. And I try to do the same with pictures now. I used to pick like 20 photos of like mm, anything that I think is beautiful. And now I just take one picture and that's it. I just went to Miami and I don't have, I maybe I have like five pictures of Miami. That's all, I, I don't need more. Um, I did by the way two videos about Miami, which I absolutely adore. And anyway, yeah, if it's not relevant to me, mail or text messages or calls, I delete or oh, photos, I delete everything. So that's it. That's the 14 um, weird things I do as an ultra, minim as an ultra minimalist. Sorry. Uh, let me know what you think and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week.